Let's go. My, my, what are they called? Feet mittens. Okay, can some of you guys who actually know English tell me what the f these are called? Because I have no clue. Slippers? They're not slippers, no. No, they're not slippers. Slippers aren't like that. Slippers are like more specific. Comfy boots. I agree with that. We'll just call them comfy boots. Call them birth control. They're comfortable. What the f are you talking about? Hi, I'm on. That's the video. Anyway, so the plan for today is we are going to be beating Red World Rebirth. Hopefully. I don't think this is going to take me too long. Like, I'm not going to be here. Oh, it's going to take me like 20 minutes. But the level itself is pretty easy. So I, I, I'm not going to be surprised if it doesn't take me too long to play i put in like 15 minutes of gameplay like a couple days ago and i got 47 percent literally 15 minutes so it shouldn't be too bad but we all know me we all know me and swing copter it's gonna be interesting but yeah plan is red world rebirth eric beat it for the 12 days of christmas and i was like hey maybe i should try it as well so here we are about to try Red World Rebirth. And you promised me to not be do me by dying to the last spike of the last stray fly. I will try my best, though I can't promise anything. Red World Rebirth. We're just gonna start off by trying to practice the ending a little bit and just vibe a little bit. I don't know how I first attempted that at all. That's like the hardest time in the entire level. I can already tell, by the way, that I'm just for some reason gonna struggle, die a lot to this first ship. Just because I just have a feeling that I will. The swing copters are like the only thing in this level that is gonna be like kinda hard to get down. Like the swing copters are like the the difficulty of this level. The only I'm pretty sure the only reason this is extreme demon is because first of all, high refresh rate friendly. Uh this is pretty hard on 60 hertz. But the swing copters are kinda hard, honestly. Also, like these like block fits are like kinda yucky. Because there's tiny block there, tiny block there, and you have to like fall and land in between them which is kind of hard. But other than that, it's like, I think, okay, so what I'm gonna put out there is that I'm expecting to die, when it comes to this ship, I'm expecting to just die to this transition because it's awkward as shit. I'm expecting to die to that, and I do not like that. Also, I keep forgetting that I have to go up there. For some reason, I just instinctively drop down here and I can't put, I don't know why, it's just something I do. I don't know why, but like the end of that, S straight ball straight swing copter section like right here i always seem to hit this for some reason like i feel like i don't know i just struggle a lot with that for some reason i i'm very neutral with this level this is a very popular level like a lot of people really like this level primarily because i feel like it's a lot to do with like the history of the level like sari and Neptune and all that stuff and riot personally i'm really neutral on this what do i think of swing copter melon i'm very, very neutral on it i think swing copter is like decent uh but yeah i'm just entirely neutral on swing copter i think it's okay i think it's a little bit awkward to get used to but once you get get it down it's like fine Oh, if I die to that last ship part, I'm gonna be kinda, kinda, kinda mauled. Kinda really mauldy. If you can beat Sakuman, if you can beat Sakuman, I would say you're good at wave. But then we have Wolves, who's like, uh, if you can beat Sakuman, you're probably just an average player. Imagine having a higher chance of passing Sakuman Hell first attempt than you have to pass math in third grade. <laughs> But I wouldn't- WHAT?! WHAT?! <laughs> GAME! <laughs> what the hell?! <laughs> Bruh! <laughs> okay. Sure. I have the best icons and I'm cool. Thank you. And I agree. I do have the best icons. I think you and I are the only people who agree in the world though, but that's about it. No, no, that's wrong here. Zoroa uses them. Zoroa and Ikan- Ik Econox uses the, the icon. Everyone knows fucking Zoroa. He, he has a 90 creator points. What do you mean you don't know Zoroa? Hello? Zoroa has 60,000 stars. Zoroa has a thousand demons. You can't call them not a player. Hello? Are you gonna say Zoroa is not a player? Literally a thousand demons, guy. What are you smoking? All right, let's try and see if I can fluke this. That would be sick. Never mind. That was a really dumb death. That was actually the dumbest death I could have ever done. Psycho Lyric, thank you so, so much. I opened my mouth. I should not have opened the mouth, but I did open the mouth. To be fair, though, I kind of expected to die to that ship. Like, eventually, but you know, it's whatever. I hate the fact that they spelled my name wrong, but that's whatever. 
That's fine. I'm the 35th most famous person in all of Norway. Fun fact, actually. That feeling when a fucking 12-year-old, a 12-year-old Instagram star is more popular than I am on, uh, from Norway. Can we boost me above Viprin, please? <laughs> Can y'all, like, search me up and, like, forcefully boost me above Viprin? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, I'm so glad Trollface came back. I mean, I think Trollface is funny. I've always liked Troll Physics. Troll, troll Physics from like 2012 was the funniest shit ever. Like, my 12 year old self always thought, like, you know what? The whole cover yourself in oil shit, or just how to float, stand on a metal box, and s use a magnet shit. The funniest f fucking thing ever. Like, have you guys seen the whole magnet troll physics thing? Like, this shit kind of thing? Or that, you can now float, like, fucking troll, troll physics from like 2012 was the absolute funniest thing ever. McNassier, they're so clearly funny people. Well, funny people aren't gamers. Funny people are just funny. You can't be a pro gamer and a comedian. That just doesn't work. You have to pick a struggle. What? Ah! Come on, don't die. Don't be an idiot. Oh my fucking god, I'm actually going to bed. Fuck all of this. Good night. Boy! Oh my goodness gracious, dog. I'm actually so bad. Oh my god, dude. Can I stop dying to the fucking end? I thought I died like every single click in that ship. I was so close to, to everything with that ship. That was so stupid. <sighs> Yeah, the reason why I died there was because I freaked out because I thought I died to the very beginning of the ship there. Like, if you if you if someone clips that and send it sends it to my Discord server, like everything I did in that ship was just awful. Like I was basically a goddamn 1990s pinball machine at that point. I went just boop, 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 bang 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 bang. Like there's a miracle I even got to 97. I thought for sure I was gonna die to 94. Finally, dude. I was so close to dying to that swing copter. Jesus fucking Christ. I was so close to dying to the swing copter. Holy fuck me, bro. <laughs> ah, that was really annoying. That shouldn't have taken as long as it did. I got 71% in the on this in 800 attempts. 800! 
hundred fucking attempts it took me to get 71%. Fuck you, level. Jesus Christ. Actual garbage level. Horrible level. Not really a huge fan, but it's whatever. Got it under my belt, though, so I'm happy with that.